Are you looking for a good quality microphone to record vocals on a budget? These microphones will be exactly what you're looking for. All of these microphones have a cardioid polar pattern, which means they're more directional. And while the prices are subject to change, all of these mics should come in under $150. There are links down in the description to each one and stick around to the end to hear my pick for the best budget microphone. The Shure SM58 is a dynamic microphone and I would be surprised if you didn't recognize it. This microphone comes with a built-in pop filter, sounds great on voices, and is one of the most popular microphones of all time. This thing is used in studios and live venues all over the world and has been featured on many of the best albums of all time. This mic is great for rehearsals and live shows. The Audio-Technica AT2020 is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. It has a high dynamic range, meaning it can handle a lot of volume, and is one of the most highly reviewed microphones on the market. It sounds great on voice and instruments, however it is a little dark sounding. Still, these things are reliable and easy to find, and they sound great on voices and instruments. The Rode Pod mic is a relatively new dynamic microphone. Built with podcasting in mind, the Rode Pod mic has a built-in shock mount and an internal pop filter. This thing is solidly built and quite heavy. However, it's a little harsh in the high end and it can be a little quiet, so you'll have to run your preamps fairly hot. That said, this mic is great for podcasting and voiceovers. The AKG P120 is a large diaphragm electric condenser. It's one of my favorite budget microphones and is the one that I use to record most of my YouTube videos. This mic is super durable and has a switchable pad and low frequency roll off. The P120 is a fairly hot mic and it's nice and bright in the high end compared to the AT2020. This mic is great for singing, instruments, and for voice work. The Presonus PD70 is another new dynamic microphone. Much like the pod mic, the PD70 was designed with voice work and podcasting in mind. It has a built-in shock mount, comes with a pop filter, and like condensers, requires 48 volts of phantom power, meaning that it's pretty hot. This this microphone has a slight boost in the high mids, meaning that it's great for podcasting, voice work, and content creation. In terms of dynamic mics, my pick will always be the Shure SM58. It has almost endless functionality, it can be used in a studio, it can be used live, it works great for voice and for instruments, and they're basically indestructible. If you buy one, you'll probably have it forever. I can't even count the number of music venues that I've worked at that have 58s with smashed in grills that still sound as good as the day they came out of the box. For condensers, my pick is the AKG P120. I have the Perception 100, which is a slightly older model, but it's the one that you're hearing right now. I've been using it for voice and instruments for 15 years, and it's held up spectacularly. I have zero regrets about the purchase of this microphone. At the end of the day, it's all going to depend what your specific needs are. However, at least one of these mics should be able to help you get to work recording. If you found this video helpful, I suggest you check out this video where I cover the most affordable budget audio interface on the market.